and welcome back to another video. Um, I've been pretty crook the past couple of days, otherwise I probably would have uploaded a little sooner, but it is what it is, getting over a flu. It wasn't COVID, thankfully, for the second time, it was just a really, really bad flu. Um, so, probably not going to be a lot of talking in this one, a lot more, um, just, what would you call it, time lapsey style stuff, just because I'm only just starting to get my voice back now. Um, I thought today what we'll do is tackle the wiring of this big mess oh, yeah. in here. So basically I want to just figure out what's what because it came from Japan with a uh, head unit that didn't really work in it um, and it's just been cut and taped and it is really messy, so if I can at least sort it out, label up what's what, um, it'll make it easier when I go and get a patch harness and I can just wire it all in. Um, maybe I'll stick a head unit in there. I also want to figure out what the gauges are doing um, up on the dash for the gauge, uh, the vent holder, that one up there. Um, just to see if I've got power and everything worked out for them. Um, so yeah, let's get to it, eh? Take out, whoop. Got a little orange juice holder. Nice. So, I'll just get the flashlight out. Oh, look at that bird's nest. That's what we're gonna tackle today. Just figure out what's what, as you can see. <laughs> the old cut and tape job from Japan's really well done. Um, I just want to sort of figure out what's what, make sure nothing's arcing out on anything. Um, if there's anything that I don't know what it does and it's exposed, I'm just going to put a bit of heat shrink over the end of it just so it doesn't touch anything and just sort of um, seal it all up. But uh, this I found on Google while I was crook. I was just sort of obsessed with just everything to do with this car at the moment, which is good. Um, found a, a Nissan radio harness sort of I guess guide from what the actual dash colour wire is and what the new radio stuff is so what I can get the patch harness maybe I'll even be able to make this one work because I think it might have a patch harness in it maybe I'll be able to just make it a bit tidier who knows I'll figure it out so I'll just set the camera up um, and yeah try and get a bit of light inside the car because it's quite dark at the moment <laughs> and um yeah, just start plugging away and see if I can get it to make sense, I guess. It's the main thing. Let's do it. So I've sort of, what I've done is I've separated what I've done. So see if I can set the phone up here to get a bit of light down there. Maybe if I set it up here. Yeah, that's not bad. So <clears throat> this stuff here is I'm assuming the black stuff's earths that I've done and these are all wiring for the gauges up in the dash and I'm assuming the boost gauge, I didn't put the boost gauge in nor did I put these in but I've just sort of taken them out they were below here and like a really they were just sort of shoved in there so I bought a holder because the vents were all broken up there anyway and just shoved them in there so this stuff's all been soldered um, and heat shrinked and then wrapped with some tape or vice versa or at least just heat shrink so I'm gonna probably tape this up and just sort of leave this to the side and then we can tackle this it's not actually as bad as I thought um, it looks pretty shocking initially but once you pull it all out nothing else has been cut out the back this is just speaker wiring um, but what I have noticed is once upon a time I can get this. Someone's cut the radio and just twisted it back together, the radio input. So I'm I'm never getting radio out of this car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lob that off and solder it and tuck it away because I'd rather have no radio than than that. So that can get axed. Um, I think this blue wiring is as you can see, it's really well done. Um, 
must be LED lighting or I, I, I don't know honestly like I'm so this stuff cut still run into it and cut and yeah I'm not sure I'm gonna figure all this out um, I'm gonna get my lighter gonna get some pliers and just start cutting out um, and hopefully just sort of make my way through the the nest that is this car's wiring so I'm gonna get my tripod actually maybe I can set it up in the back there and um, get some sort of footage I guess just sort of plot away <laughs> all right I'll set it up and then we'll go for gold eh? I just set the camera up but just a reminder if you're working on your car anything electrical disconnect your battery take out your ECU take out fuses whatever you're gonna do I don't have my battery connected and I don't have an ECU in it so I'm not gonna do any damage but the simplest little arc could just send you crazy chasing gremlins so just just wanted to throw that in there all right we'll go back into a time lapse i'll put some music As you can see, that's pretty much the factory harness. Don't know how. Let's zoom in a bit. Zoom in a bit. That there is the factory harness. Um, <laughs> it ain't the best, but I tidied it up. I got rid of. Let me zoom out. This absolute monstrosity of a home job. To be fair, they were using um, what looks like, uh, you know, uh, what would you call it? Push clips, you get a male and a female end. But they were, weren't crimping them and they were just taping them. So I could pull them apart. Um, got rid of all of the tape. All the wires are just full of old gross, like sticky tape. Um, this stuff here, I have no idea what it does. It's obviously aftermarket and I haven't put it in. So um, I've just put some heat shrink around it, cut them flush so they can't touch each other if I do or forget. But I think these might be um, wiring for the, the gauge that I didn't put in. Um, I've tucked in all my wiring that I've done off to the side. Um, I put in, I put some heat shrink over the, the signal cable for the radio because that's never never getting used so I can just pretty much take that and tuck it all the way around the back and get rid of it um, that there's that oil for the oil pressure because it's a mechanical gauge so what I'm going to do um, now is I'm going to go through this and um, just find out what colours what 
heat shrink them into left speakers, right speakers, front, back, power, all that sort of stuff, little bundles. And then when I go to the parts shop, um, whether it's Autobahn or Super Cheap or whatever, to get some stuff, I'll, um, I'll grab a patch harness because there was no way I was reusing that. Not not in chance. Actually, you can see there, there's really, really, um, if it focuses. Uh, yeah, they're really great twist jobs that they were doing. <laughs> really great. No solder, no crimps, just twist and tape. Standard. Um, don't really have joy of, um, you know, I don't want my car to have a fritz out if it's, you know, something as simple as a twist and tape wire, so, um, yeah, I'll, um, grab another orange juice and just sort of tug away at this, eh? <laughs> This and that sort of paired up what I think it could be. Um, so I got speakers paired off, ignition paired off with a switch wire. I got a bunch of random stuff that I don't really know what they do yet, but I can always get a multimeter and figure that out. So I got speakers and <coughs> and um, power sorted out. Um, Earth will come in somewhere. I think it says. Um, the ground wire is the metal brackets on the radio, so I can essentially just uh, ground the new stuff straight off into my other grounds that sort of go around the gear shifter. Um, it's probably not the longest video, but <coughs> <coughs> as you can see, I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, well, I am. I'm getting better, and uh, my OJ is helping, but. That's all the junk that I pulled out of in there, so I'm sort of sorting it out. Slowly but surely. Bunch of old, sticky, crap house tape. Um, so I'll pick up a, uh, probably a new one of these from the shops. That's not absolutely butchered with little, uh, yeah, just random bits and bobs. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. Go and get that. I gotta get a uh, a jack and everything else. I'll jump up out of the car. Ugh. Jack, jack stands, so then we can do some more exciting stuff um, like the wheels. Take the wheels off, refer them, do a big bolt check. Um, take out the surge tank and everything in the boot just sort of finalize all that uh, I'm feeling better but it's slow um, hopefully within the next few days I come proper right and uh, I can do something a bit more exciting than just wiring so that'll do for now it's good enough for me I got something done it's just just consistently ticking away at it it'll get done eventually so um, yeah See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, if you want to follow the build, it'll hopefully be done before the end of the year. I've got a, I've got a little one on the way, so we'll see how that goes. The, the, I'd rather have it done before he gets here. So, but yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.